Hello everyone, I am Luna and today I am going to level up All Hatem's signature weapon and look at how much better it is than the weapon I used before which is Jade Cutter. So let's just get into it. Okay, so I did already get the first enhancement and I promise it was an accident. Okay, I accidentally pressed the button. Okay, let's just continue, get that ascension too. You know, this weapon really gives a lot of crit damage. It's still only level 60 and I already have 65% crit damage that's crazy okay now i have to start crafting stuff i am pretty certain i have enough to level it all the way because i remember having like double of everything that i needed okay now we can continue ah uh, see i do have enough I thought so. 88.2 crit damage. I'm currently in the middle of filming an artifact video. So I am gonna try and improve that crit rate. But for now, it's fine, okay? 57 is almost 60%. I think that's good enough to start with. It has a lot of crit damage, but I expected that. I think everyone would expect that. With 88% crit damage. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so I am first gonna see how much damage he does with the Primordial Jade Cutter. Now, I know not everyone has this weapon but for me it was the best one until i got this one so that's the most interesting comparison i can do i guess you know and for the people who do have the, the jade cutter maybe this will help you see if it is actually worth it to wish for this weapon so let's go to masanori now okay so it's a little difficult to see which damage number is from what for i'll hate him because his skill does a lot of different kinds of damage I suppose. Doing the skill is fine. Okay, that's 10,000, right? See? That's what I mean. It's hard to see because you do a charge attack, which already does two damage numbers. And then you have the mirror, and that also gives another damage number. So, you know, it's a bit hard. But I'll just do it again. 10,000 again. Okay, the mirror did 5,700. That, that was pretty obvious. And his charge attack seems to do 2,400. Then I'd like to see how much his burst does. We don't need the mirrors for that. Uh, let's see. 8,000. Okay. And then I think it's also pretty important to look at how much he does with aggravate. So let's get Yamiko's tokens out here. That didn't do anything. Okay. I'm gonna have to try that again. 17,000. Okay. I didn't see the damage of the mirrors. I think I'll just watch back for that. Okay, so I watched back the video. His charge attack did 2,600 and the mirrors did 17,000. There were just two of the three attacks that, that did do a reaction because the middle one only did 7,000. Okay, so the last thing I want to look at is I'll hit him's burst with spread. Let's get the tokens out here. I saw one 18,500, but usually more of the hits do aggravate, no, spread. So that's a bit confusing. I'll just look at it one more time. There was a, a 17,000. I also see the rest going up from 8,000 to 8,500. But I feel like that couldn't be spread because then it would go up more. But anyway, we got the numbers now. Let's go away and put his signature on him. Finally, I can see how much damage he's gonna do. I'm very curious. I am gonna make it light though. Because that's a bit handier. Thank you. Let's do his skill. 12,000. Okay, that's fine. His mirrors do 8,900. Okay, so looking at the weapon, it's very understandable why the skill itself doesn't do much more. So only after I've done the skill, his attacks and, I mean, his damage is increased by the elemental mastery that he has. So in that case, I do want to get some more elemental mastery. It's already a good number, but I would like to have, like, maybe 600 or something to benefit from that buff. I also looked at how much his charge attack did, and it it did 2800 so that is an increase of about 400 which is pretty nice and his mirrors went from about 5700 to 8900 so that is also an increase of more than 3000 so now i just have to look at his burst and then we're gonna do it with spread reactions okay let's do the burst 9,600. Okay, that's nice. I think that was 8,000 before, right? So that's an increase of 1,600. So now let's do it with spread. Get the tokens out and... And then do the skill. That didn't do anything. 
I guess when you just do the skill, it doesn't really do a reaction because you don't spread yet. In a normal rotation, I always do Nahida's skill before I do El Hatem's skill. So I think just so that I can do a spread reaction, I'll just do Nahida's skill. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna take away Nahida's artifacts for a bit. Or like one so that she doesn't have the bonus. Right, we're gonna do that so that she doesn't buff damage. 22,000! That's a 10,000 damage increase just from spread if Nahida didn't buff anything, which she shouldn't because she doesn't have the four piece set bonus. So that's a pretty big damage increase. Okay, so now I'll see what his mirrors and charge attack do. I have noticed though it's a lot easier to see the damage when I'll hit him as three mirrors. Um, so I'm gonna try and get him to have that many. There you go. Okay, and now they're gone already. And He's about to die, no. Okay, okay, so I did see a big 25,000 and I feel like that couldn't be anything else but his mirrors. So that's pretty impressive. So let's just say that the mirrors do 25,000 when they do aggravate. Although I would like to see that once again to be sure. Yeah, there it was again. Yeah, that was twice. When all the mirrors crit and he has three which means he does three attacks with them. Only the first and the last one can spread because of the internal cooldown. And that's why I just saw him do 25,000 twice. So I watched back the video. I saw a 13,000 and an 11,500. I think the 13,000 was a mirror that didn't do aggravate. So the only thing I can think of is that the 11,000 is his charge attack when it does aggravate. Although I'm really not sure about that because it sounds like a little much since before he only did like 4,000. Unless that was still a charge attack that didn't do spread, which I think is the case. So I'm just gonna stick with the 11,500 being his charge attack with spread. Anyway, let's now do his burst with aggravate. So the only thing I still remember from that is the last attack from his burst doing 18,000. And I think I'm just gonna look at the last number now too for the comparison because that just seems like the most practical thing to do. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, that barely quit like ever. So I'm gonna have to do that again. Okay, let's get EI tokens. Okay, there we go. What? Okay, I saw one twenty-two thousand, but for the rest, nothing crit again. Okay, let's try that again. Please crit more. Okay, let's see. Oh my god! Seriously. Oh, there was a twenty-six six thousand. Yeah, I saw that. There was a 26,000, so I think I'm just gonna take that. Okay, so now that I've looked at everything, I just want to give an overview of everything and how much more everything did with the signature weapon. So starting with the charge attack, without spread, it went from 2,400 to 2,800, so that's an increase of 400. I mean, there isn't really much to see there just because the damage number is already really small. Now, while taking screenshots of all of the damage numbers, I did manage to find one time where I'll hate him did do a spread reaction with his charge attack when he was using jade cutter and that charge attack did 10,000 which also makes the 11,500 a lot more believable with his signature so that's a damage increase of about 1,400 so that's already a nicer damage increase but since his charge attack has the smallest damage multiplier that's also gonna increase the least of course now the skill is already a lot more interesting without aggravate it went from 10,000 to 12,000 so that's a damage increase of 2,000 still not a lot, but also the most important buff of I'll hate him's signature weapon activates when you do the skill, so the skill damage itself is probably not buffed yet by that. Then with aggravate, it went from 17,000 to 22,000, which is already quite a bit more, that's 5,000 more. And I think here it becomes quite obvious that the damage is just a lot better when you do reactions. I mean, that's like always the case with every character, but just pointing it out. Now the mirrors, so here the weapon's buff is already activated, which means it's gonna increase the damage a lot more. So without aggravate, it went from 5,700 to 8,900, which is an increase of 3,200. Then with aggravate, it went from 17,000 to 25,000, which is an increase of 8,000. That's a big damage increase, you know, very nice. Then the burst, the base damage wasn't a lot, only increased with 1,600. Also probably because the multiplier isn't that big for one number. Although if you have all the mirrors, 
hours, his burst hits 10 times, which means that 1,600 is actually an increase of 16,000 if you count his whole burst. Then with spread, this is the most impressive number, okay? It went from 18,000 to 26,000, which is an increase of 8,000. So at first, I was a little bit underwhelmed with the damage increase, but then when you activate its buff, it definitely gets a lot better. So this weapon is definitely really good, and I think it can be good for a lot of future DPS characters that are also best in elemental reaction teams since it scales from elemental mastery which is now like one of the best stats in the whole game but anyway I am pretty happy that I got this weapon it's definitely very good I hope I could help you in some way by making this video you know maybe you're planning to wish for this weapon and and this could help with making the decision if you're going to or not if that is the case please tell me in the comments because I would love to know and and of course you can also tell me anything else in the comments if you want to and with that all said i hope i see you in the next one